Hello everybody. Let's start some coding with uh, just making some shapes and we'll start with basic you know polygon kind of things. Um, so here's our pencilcode.net slash edit slash first um, code they give us is basic and we're just gonna get rid of that the for loop for a minute. Um, again explore options um, type in colors here to see what colors might happen. Um, you can also make the pen different sizes. That's what that number is for. Um, obviously, you don't need two pen um, codes. Uh, so let's, let's make a triangle. So one thing I haven't explored is how big my squares are. Um, but let's just... Put in some numbers. Let's go forward. Let's turn. Uh, hey, if we turned, if we did ninety, that'd be a right triangle, right? I don't know. Let's just pick some. Well, you could pick numbers at random and, and just try stuff. Uh, but here's gonna be the hard part. It's actually making them connect. So if we did that, well, that's gonna be really small. Um, and really big. Let's go 30 and 50. Okay. So now here would be the question. How do I um, connect that triangle? Like what angle do I have to, to turn? And you can just try to do it at random if you wanted to. Um, oh, we got to turn like almost all the way around, but not quite. So I'm just going to pick a big number. And how far, I don't know how far I got to go. So I'll just let that go. Um, it'll be a lot easier if we make regular polygons. All right, so obviously we didn't turn enough. And this is a nice thing. Like we, we can just do some trial and error. We turned too much. Not enough and went too far, right? All right, so let's back that off a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty close. Uh, I don't know. One sixty sounds like it'd be too much. Uh, let's try it. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, forward. Let's go seventy. That's a triangle, right? Um. So, but again, this is, here's this thing about this idea of making regular polygons. I mean, we can make a quadrilateral, same kind of thing, move, turn, move, turn, move, turn, um, you know, make four sides and figure out how to make that last side connect with trial and error. But let's make regular polygons. Like, and regular polygons means that all, all sides are the same and all angles are the same. So our forwards and turns are going to be the same. Uh, we just have to do them. We just have to pick the right numbers. And there's some math involved in that. Um, there's some concepts involved. So um, let's make a regular triangle. And see, I know some stuff. And again, all the, all the forward, let's see, forward, right, forward, right, forward. Let's see what that does. Well, that's not going to be a triangle, is it? All right, let's pick bigger numbers. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Well, let's, say let's, let's go bigger to draw it anyways. Look at that. Uh, you do know that, that it basically has to come around to the beginning again. Okay. Um, so there would be a regular triangle. Now let's make a regular square. A regular quadrilateral. And a regular, well, this is called an uh, equilateral triangle. 
and a regular quadrilateral would be called a square. What do you know about squares? All the corners are 90. All right, so I got to turn one more time and go forward. Boom, 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 boom. Ta-da, there's a square. Um, now here is where we start to learn some coding things. Um, we can use that for loop. And we can make it go forward and turn right. I'm going to get rid of everything else. But how many times do I want to make it go forward and turn right? Um, not three times, but four times. So now I've done the same thing, but written less code. Ta-da! What if we want to make a pentagon? Well, obviously that turn has to be different. And there's, there's a formula and some math um, to do... Um, we don't want to turn 90. We want to turn less than 90. So let's just we'll just try something. Unless you want to actually figure out the... Ooh, that was pretty close, wasn't it? So let's do less than 75. Here we go. Regular pentagon. All sides are the same. Oh, oh, look at that. All angles are the same. All right, let's go hexagon. Six sides. Boom, boom. And yeah. There we go. Let's go with a seven sided shape. Uh oh. Um, what's this going to be? Let's try 50 something. I don't think it's going to work. That was pretty darn close. How about 51? All sides have to still be the same, so I'm not going to change that 100. I'm just going to change that angle a little bit. Uh, maybe, if, ooh, let's can it do halves. Good question. Boom, boom, ta-da! So there we go. That's how you make um, regular polygons. Um, circles are pretty easy. It's just this nice little um, thing here. That instead of making it three one eighty, I'm going to make it three sixty. and this number here changes the size but your big question is, is you gotta figure out is it the radius or is it the diameter and now here's an important thing to learn how to put that shape where you want it and that's gonna be this jump to so right now the shape's always gonna start in the middle what if I don't want to start in the middle? Ah, it went 100 to the right and 50 up. 100 to the right, 50 up. What if I want to do two circles? Uh, let's jump. Let's go left. And then make a circle. Where's my circle? Here we go. So, whoop, 50, oh, 20, I'm sorry. So, there's how to make some shapes, and there's how to put them and move them around. Um, so now you can build, sometimes the moving around is going to be trial and error, that's okay. So there's a way to get some shapes going and move them to where you need them. 
The biggest question is, how big is the screen? Uh, let's try 300. Okay, it's just about, so 300 was right here. So it's going to be 350. Let's make sure. Let's go negative 350. Yep. Yeah, probably three and a quarter. Let's try that. All right, so there was 320. There was 300. There was 320, negative 325. Okay, so 325. Uh, but how tall is it? Nope, off the screen. Two hundred, so two fifty, so three, so three twenty five and about two fifty. Okay, there you go. Make shapes.